along with the left side being flush now we got the right side flush too man i ain't seen this this is big for me <laughs> because i haven't seen it since i installed a radio man i mean just being able to not have to worry about this popping out over here is such a joy for me Pride Squad, what it do, man? It's your boy JR here. JRT Productions back with another video. And yes, I know it's been a little while, man, but your boy was waiting on some stuff to ship in. And now we got that taken care of. And I uh, just wanted to get back with y'all, man, and let's continue with this thing. So you see the title, you see the thumbnail, you know what's going on. I got the box here. What could that be? Something very important that's very much needed that I should have got a long time ago, but um, I don't know, man, I just had to prioritize some things. But anyway, so basically what's going on is uh, when I installed the 8.4 inch Uconnect radio, um, the bezel, as you can see, which I'll show you right now, it looks fine to the naked eye, but when I installed it, I came from the five inch radio to the 8.4 inch, for those of you who don't know, let me take my phone clips off here, uh, but basically, it doesn't clip in completely properly so if you look over here on the side you can see my lights and everything you know my, my wire lights and everything don't uh, they don't sit flush and that's because and I can just go out on and pull this off but that's basically because this whole side here does not clip in like it should so I'll show you on the driver's side that's how it looks sitting in flush that's how it should be it's perfectly fine all right and then on this side over here you can see it's a kind of a bump right here. That's because uh, the bezel was made for the five inch radio, not for the 8.4 inch radio. So what I'm having to do, what I had to do is I had to order another, uh, I had to order another piece, another whole nother bezel. Uh, I didn't order it through Dodge. I got it on eBay. Um, a matter of fact, let me see in this box here. Try to do this as fast as possible. Alright, so I ordered it on eBay. This is who it came from. Uh, Biggs Motoring right here. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description about where I bought it from. I'm not sure if he has more or not, but I will say this. Let me put this back down for a second. Let's put that down there. But I will say this, um, because I know that you all are big on part numbers and stuff, you know, for um, these different things, and which I am too, I get it. Uh, but for the bezel, be honest with you, man, it's like so many different part numbers for this bezel. Uh, it's not like a, a five inch, you know, radio part number for that bezel and then an 8.4 inch, you know, it's, it's like different part numbers, a bunch of different part numbers. Uh, so I'm going to show you the part number that I have for mine. This is the 2016 Challenger. So I'll show you that part number. That's the one that you don't want to get. Okay. And then I'll show you the part number on the one that I have. And... Uh, if you can find one that's the same, hopefully it fits. I have not tried it. This is going to be, uh, yeah, so, well, I mean, hopefully, Lord, if it fits, then, you know, you'll know. The video is up. But anyway, uh, so let's go on and do this. I'm going to go on and take this bezel out now. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting in the car, but that's because it is raining outside, man. Uh, and I needed to go ahead and get this swapped out, but I'm at work and on my lunch break. So I'm going to go on and swap this out. Let me go on and pull this off. Let me go on and pull this bezel off. And uh, I mean, it's, it's not locked in, so it's like, that's not gonna be difficult at all. Look at that, see? All right, so I'm gonna pull this off uh, and I'm gonna pull out the new bezel and I'm gonna show it to you and we'll go from there. Something I did wanna point out real quick as I'm pulling it out and trying to open it. They wrapped this thing up real good, man. Real good, real good packaging. All right, so let me go on and get it out so I can show y'all. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the... Uh, this is a new bezel right here so um, it came with all the vents and everything so I don't have to worry about putting the old ones on uh, this is the old bezel here a whole bunch of junk in here man it's raining outside yeah, all right all right so this is the old one here just a comparison top one is the old bottom one is the new um, and they pretty much look the exact same which is cool but yeah so let me show you real quick this is the part number for the old one 
Uh, and that's so if you see this part number here, this is the one it will not fit if you swapped out the five inch radio for the 8.4 inch. It will not fit, okay? All right, y'all got that? Pause the video and see it. All right, so that's the old one. And we got the new one here, which let me show you the part number for the new one right here. All right, so y'all can check that out. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, this works for you. I hope this helps somebody out. But all right, so I got everything pulled out up here. Uh, so we ready to go in on and see if this is gonna work. Now, I would like to have y'all post it up somewhere, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Or not. I'm gonna go ahead and try it though. Okay, so anyway, it is what it is. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know what's happening. All right, so I got the old one here. Well, this is the new one, I'm sorry. This is the moment of truth right here, y'all. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Moment of truth. Clipped. Left side's good. Right side. Oh, my God. I have never seen it. Come here, y'all. Would y'all look at this? All right. So we got the right side. Let's see here. Hold on now. All right. So we got right side over here. That's, look at this. Flush, flush, flush all the way around there. Look at that. Flush, 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 man. I have never seen it. <laughs> this is, look, this is simple things in life, okay? Just wipe that off real quick. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Whew. Man, that's a good look right there. I appreciate that, man. That was, that was money well spent. Money, money definitely well spent. All right, y'all, so we got the lights back in. Uh, everything is, we got the trim back around it. You know what I'm saying? So along with the left side being flush, now we got the right side flush too, man. I ain't seen this. This is big for me <laughs> because I haven't seen it since I installed a radio, man. I mean, just being able to not have to worry about this popping out over here is such a joy for me, to be honest with you. It's a really a joy. So anyway, let me go and crank it up real quick. Yeah, man. It just looks better, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. So, uh, I know, I know a lot of y'all wanna know, you know what I'm saying, how much it costs and everything. I didn't go to the dealership to get the, um, I didn't go to the dealership to get the bezel. I ordered it off of eBay. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, um, you know, for where I got it from, and hopefully it pulls up still, because from what I could tell, he only had one. So, um, but I'll still put the link in the description and hopefully, you know what I'm saying, y'all have an idea. That's why I told you. The part number that I had on my old one, you can go back in the video and look at that. That's the one that you don't want if you transition from a five inch to an 8.4 inch. Um, and hopefully, you know, you can find the same part number with uh, the new one. If you can't, um, just really talk to the seller uh, to find out, you know, if this one will fit a radio with the 8.4 inch screen. That's what you really want, okay? Um, and as far as the price is concerned, I paid $195 for it. It was $195, and I think it was like $35 with shipping, so it was like a total of $230, you know what I'm saying? So, which is, it's not really bad. I mean, I think the OEM, like if you ordered it from Mopar or something, it would have ran me about $500 or something like that. Uh, they do have cheaper ones out there, but like I said, I don't, I didn't know for sure, and the sellers couldn't tell me if they uh, would fit a 8.4 inch radio or not. They didn't know. They said it would, They, but I, I don't know. I mean, this person uh, here, they told me for sure that it would, um, and I'm glad they did. I mean, I ordered it, what's today, Monday? I ordered it Thursday, I believe it was, and yeah, yeah it's Monday and it's here, so. I'm real happy with everything I got, but I'm, I'm really exact. I'm really happy at 
the fact that I got this now so I don't have to worry about that something else and also later on this week probably this weekend it depends on how the weather is I got another install that's coming up that was actually suggested by a subscriber uh, in one of my past videos they had been in the back of my mind to get it to get it done and I think it's gonna look real nice on the car man so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned if this is your first time at the channel and you like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button hit the bell notification button so you know when I post the videos um, just go ahead and subscribe you know what I'm saying if it's your first time seeing it go back and check out my old videos you know what I'm saying so you can see the build of the car where I started from to where it's at now and we still taking it up higher uh, taking it you know to be a much better much much better looking car I mean this is really turned out to be a great project car and I'm still having a whole lot of fun with it um, even though it's not the fastest thing on the road it looked fast you know what I'm saying and um, people you know what I'm saying they enjoy I, I just enjoy having a car and having fun with it man that's what it's all about you know what I'm saying so you know social media go follow me on Instagram at JRT Productions 3 snapchat J underscore rocks 3 and y'all make sure y'all be safe out in these streets man you see this rain is crazy out here in Georgia if you out here you know what I'm saying you just pipe down calm down you know what I'm saying and just just relax take it take your time be safe first and foremost anyway man this is jr man jersey productions i'm out y'all hold it down to the next time peace Ooh.